All right, travelers, welcome back. Hey, you all, uh, did you all hear about the leopard who was trying to play hide and seek? Did you hear about that one? Yeah, kept getting spotted. Uh huh. Spotted leopard. <laughs> all right. So our first guest tonight needs no introduction. But you know me, I'm gonna give one anyway, huh? Our guest is loved by children everywhere. Some call it a giant avian. Others call it a big bird. You know where I'm going with this one. Let's give a round of applause for our first guest, Ostrich. Oh, come on! This is the biggest bird on the planet! What do you say we give it a chance? Let's learn more about the ostrich. When we say big, we mean really big. The ostrich can get up to nine feet tall and weigh over 300 pounds. Because the ostrich is so tall and weighty, they can't fly. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Did everyone, hear, everyone heard what he just said? You say a bird can't fly? A bird can't fly. <laughs> what are you gonna tell me next? It can't lay eggs? Mm, actually, flying isn't a requirement for being a bird. Just ask a penguin. No, I can't fly. Penguin? I thought you said you were flying just the other day. On an airplane? Also, laying eggs isn't just for birds. Most reptiles also lay eggs. Well, I give up. What makes a bird a bird? It's their feathers. 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 All birds' bodies are covered in feathers whether they fly or not. What the ostrich lacks in flying ability, it makes up for an ultimate warrior athleticism. The ostrich can run more than 40 miles per hour, which is faster than a leopard. And an ostrich's kick can be deadly enough to kill a lion. Ostriches are social animals and prefer to live in groups of up to 12, known as herds. That's a lot of ostrich. The ostrich has incredible eyesight, which is very important for them to be able to see predators coming from far away. Looking out for predators is an ostrich's top priority. They are constantly on the lookout. In fact, they only blink once per minute. Which isn't very much if you compare it to humans who blink 15 to 20 times per minute. Who wants to see me have a staring contest with this ostrich, huh? Huh? Let's hear it. Who wants to see me? Are right, you ready? I'm pretty good at this. I'm pretty good at this. You ready? Three, two, one. Grab your map, because it's time for... Is the animal. Where? Do you remember where we said the ostrich is found? If you said Africa, you're correct. The ostrich is found in the plains of Africa. The ostrich has developed a little sidekick friendship with a striped mammal you're most likely familiar with, the zebra. Because the ostrich has such great eyesight and the zebra has incredible hearing and smelling, they make the perfect pair for protecting each other from predators. Nay, hey, time to take my water break. You keep a lookout for me? Yeah, I'll keep my eyes. Peeled. 
This is from Timmy from Antarctica. Timmy writes, Dear Trav, I found a hole in the snow outside of my house last night. My brother keeps telling me an ostrich made it when he stuck his head in the snow. Should I be worried about an ostrich in my backyard? Do you think he's going to eat my soup that I made? Anything but the soup. And then, okay, it's, a little, it's a little wet at the bottom there. Thanks for writing to us, Timmy. Woo, that was cold. And to answer your question, I don't think it was an ostrich that made the hole, because ostriches are only found in Africa. Also, they don't actually bury their head in the ground. They might dip their head low to try to hide from predators, which might have confused people into thinking they were burying their head. It's time for a conservation conversation. The ostrich is doing great in the wild. One way you can help the ostrich is by sharing what you learned today with your friends and family. The more people know about the world's biggest bird, the more interest there will be in protecting it. This episode was suggested by Traveler James. James wrote into Travelers at TravsTravels.org and requested the ostrich. Thanks, James. And if there's an animal or conservation effort you would like to learn more about, make sure to email us or visit one of our social media pages. Keep your head held high and keep on traveling.